Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I just want to remind you that the Colorado ZR2 giveaway is going on right now. We're in the 700s for this giveaway. So you're only up against currently 700 more people to win my Colorado ZR2 that just got a fresh mod last video. The spare tire rack looks super clean with the Fuel Rebel and the Iron Man tire. So if you guys want to enter this first link in the description and you guys have an insane chance to be driving this by Christmas or give it to someone else. It'd be a great Christmas present. To the ones that did enter, thank you so much for the support. This truck is I'm part of the family essentially on the channel i have to give it away and do this just to make some money because the channel needs something new and fresh otherwise i'd be hanging on to this thing till the wheels fell off also you can enter to win the in-chain designs sandstorm bronco that's right up here and all you have to do is buy any one of my products and you're automatically entered to win so this is a new one battery low start vehicle Ugh. I think this is just a dead battery though. This is weird though, I have like full power up front. Battery low, yep. Battery low, start vehicle. No, there's, uh, we tried. Oh Lord, got the jumper box hooked up here. Let's see if this does anything. I don't know what killed the battery. That's weird. But she should be getting charged up by the time we get up there. Unless she breaks down from whatever other stupid issue there was. Top Dawn coming in clutch again. They were a sponsor a few videos back, but yeah, definitely hit them up. They got a great jumper box. All right, got Tress in the driver's seat. First time driving the ZR2, I think. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Just getting warmed up. Very nice, very nice. This is a, this is big. <laughs> God. Little green trail. It's gonna be just fine. Actually, I think this is a blue. Whatever the second level is. I didn't, I don't think I put it in four wheel drive, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't need it. Just drive over the rocks. Cause then at least you can't bottom out, which I don't think it will. Yeah, just have the wheel hit them. It's, it's better than it bottoming out. I don't really care about the rubber. I care about the rest of the truck. Yeah, sorry guys, using a GoPro Hero 7 because I went down to Florida to uh, help with family down there because of the hurricane and also just visit. That's always fun to do. And I left my GoPro down there, so they're overnighting it. Yeah, see, this is easy mode. Get our start off nice and easy. <laughs> it's actually fun to be on the outside and watch your own truck go and you're driving, you see like a glass building next to you and you get to see the reflection of it like your vehicle driving it's so rare for you to see it like damn my truck or car looks amazing all right let's go through this one that wasn't bad you're only in two wheel drive so this thing can handle a lot more i'm like come on babe this is easy i just throw on a red trail see how she does we'll see i don't really know where i'm going i've never been to roush by myself before so we may end up in some uh some trouble today go fast oh god what did i just tell her to do <laughs> oh my god, it smells horrible. Yes! A little bit, that was a good one. All right, hop out. I get to do all the uh, the boring stuff. You get to do the fun stuff. <laughs> good job, that was cool. Now normally, obstructions like this are meant to be on the trail. They kind of leave them here for on purpose because they want it to be like an obstacle. But this is a green trail. This isn't supposed to be here, especially for a stock Silverado. So, got my yank strap shackles here. I'm gonna tow this thing out of the way. See if we can to venture on. Leaves are changing up here, man. It looks so cool with the ZR2. I wonder what that is down there. Just a little opening. This is what I would love to own, like a big, big property, like big piece of property like this and just have like all these areas to explore. West Virginia is not a place I'd want to move, but you can get property like this 
for super, super cheap. She is, she's a trooper, man. I'm like, hey, we're going off-roading. You're gonna drive, we're gonna make a video because uh, me driving's boring. And she's like, yep, let's go. So always down for whatever. I love this. I love it because I, like I said, I get to see my truck off-road. I never usually do. Just pictures and videos don't do it justice. In person, it looks so much better. Oh yeah, should be good. The only thing that might rub is the pumpkin, which obviously is not good either, but oh yeah, it just handles it just fine. Yep. <laughs> and we got the hitch in, so that is gonna protect that rear bumper, no problem. Everyone's like, don't off-road the hitch, you'll get hung up. It's like, dude, I've only been hung up on my hitch one time. And guess what we hooked up to to get it unstuck? The hitch. So <laughs> she must be having fun, she keeps driving. It is fun. This is where Mike got stuck with his blazer the one time. So now I sort of know where I'm at. The, cha the, the trails change so much because of the uh, the rainwater it runs through here and changes everything up a little bit. Another perk of going off-roading with your wife is iced coffee, monster energy drinks, water, and snacks. <laughs> so I don't get these luxuries whenever I go by myself because I don't think of this stuff. Women will. We're trying to ease her into this. We're just gonna slowly get harder and harder on the trails here. This one is a little bit more tough. This GoPro, all GoPro stuff is perspective, but this one really does. This is GoPro Hero 7. And ooh, yeah, see that? These are obstacles. Like if I turn around here, you can see how far we've descended already from the truck. Some of these will definitely smack the side of the truck because it doesn't come with rock sliders. We should be good. I don't really know what to do to tell her to stop. Oh yeah, I think you're good, babe. All right, Sarah, hold up, hold up. Little twerk at the end there. Yeah, she's good. That was a good line she took. Not too much deviation, but it is pretty close on either side. We had sidewalls rub, so it does get tough. She's doing good here. Now I'm uh, now I'm telling her stuff I said I wouldn't make her do. Oh man, even that rock's close. This might be bad. Oh my God, that was so close. Well, almost. <laughs> You're doing good. I think it's gonna clear 100%, even the pumpkin. Oh, easy. Easy mode. I'm not downing my wife's ability to off-road at all because uh, she's doing very well but it seems like the ZR2 is picking up some of the slack where maybe one or two mistakes are made the flex oh my god this is even more fun than off-roading is watching your truck just go by itself <laughs> this is awesome it moves so solid like in the cab it's so comfortable it really is a great truck. I, I dog it so much, even though it let me sit again this morning. Probably from a user error though. That one being a dead battery, God only knows what I did. Yep, keep going, keep going. There you go. It's always good to just bunny hop those uh, logs. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> that was so close. Oh boy. <laughs> this is where uh, you're gonna have to get out, babe. So the last time I did this, uh, this happened. Woo! Just the trailer hitch. <laughs> that was a little sketchy, actually. A little much. And that was extremely close. Like, way too close than I, I would have liked it to have been. Like, that could have caused some serious damage. But the rear bumper was, again, saved by the hitch. I can't do this. The truck's just not lifted enough for that, unfortunately. I would really like to. But we're going to see here. We'll, we'll see what we can do. So you can tell just by where the hood of the truck is. It's a, it's a pretty good drop off. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. So scary. Are we good? No, you're still hanging. Did you just get that dent? Where? On the 
bed. Oh. Babe. That really kicked over and hit the fing bed. I knew it did. I saw it freaking teetering. That's alright. I happened. Obviously, I'd be a lot more pumped. So let's just pretend that didn't happen because that's the stuff that gets you just excited off road. Because come look at this. I mean, starting from up here and descending at least four and a half feet, maybe even five. Like I, I think that my knees are over your head. And right here, I think is where we where we bop. So here's where the dent is. You can clearly see it. But it's not through the paint. Clear coat maybe, but they can touch that up. So she'll be good as new here. You got the cool wildlife out here, off-roading, and also, babe, it's un we're unknown. It's unknown if uh, aspen trees grow in Pennsylvania. I've been told that they can. Oh, I don't know. That's different. Lots of spotted lantern flies, though. They are, they're here, though, I promise. I've seen them. That's a birch tree, yep. See, it sort of has the eyes like an aspen does. Massive spotted lantern flies. Yeah, leaves are definitely different, but we'll keep moving. We're gonna find it. All right, since I can't be trusted, I just damaged and ruined everything on my truck. Also forgot the drone batteries, I suck. I'm gonna let my wife drive since clearly the truck's in better hands with her. But uh, we'll see here, some big drops. I told her to take the easy way out because uh, we're almost done here, gonna head out. Oh yeah, this is, a little, this is a little rocky right here. So no aspens, I'm an idiot. I thought they had aspen trees up here, it's all birch. Yep, just go that way. God, that thing looks good. Better than a Chevy commercial. Yep, you're good, just go. And then favor this side over here. Oh, she's going the hard route. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> I'll just shut up, you know what you're doing. Little bit of a trailer hitch rub on the back there, but of course, as we know, that saves it along with the spare tire. Those both protect the uh, the bumper. <laughs> Pumpkin may have gotten a little close, but yeah, she's good, man. She's good. For the Silverado CR2, this is this is about as good as it's going to get for off-roading for it. Unless I destroy it. I mean, for God's sakes, that was a blue trail back there that took this truck down. Now, it didn't get stuck, but it got hurt. Truck sounds a little different on the car ride home. Lots of rattling. Sounds like the exhaust is knocked loose, so we'll see. I hope that's all it is. Way louder. Man, people are freaking... Crazy. Listen to how loud this is. Yeah, you can hear the uh, the rattle too. Something's loose. Something's loose. It really goes to show how vital a lift is. So we got a little pock mark there on the exhaust, AWE exhaust. The skid plate is definitely good and scratched up, but I mean that's what that part's there for. This mount right here took a huge hit. I think I was from previous off-roading endeavors. And uh, this little pinch weld seam right here from the outside body to the inner is scratched up too, uh, and then heavily damaged on the other side. But that was from previous off-roading. And that's a new mark right there, really dug into the frame. No damage though, I don't mind if the frame gets hit. And then also for whatever reason, this popped off. I'm assuming that's from this truck flexing so much, whenever it was teeter-tottering like it was, it just popped right out. It's daylight right now, but I wanted to show you one of these products that a company sent me, Olight. This is a free sponsorship, they're not paying me anything. This thing's amazing, super bright flashlight, and also a laser pointer. I mean, you can see it's bright as hell out right now and you can still see the laser. Great product, so if you're looking for like just a nice one-off expensive flashlight, this is the one you wanna get. Olight makes some great products and look how easy it hooks up to the charger. I just throw this on whenever I get home after every day and it's a great part of my EDC. Anyway, let's fix this up, should be pretty easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. The GoPro, the new GoPro will be back for the next video so you guys don't have to listen to this stupid audio and horrible video. Neighbor was throwing this out. 
I've been looking for one of these, so that is an awesome little find. But aside from Christmas, it's Halloween time, so I'm getting the Halloween lights set up here, make the house nice and spooky. We're having our annual Halloween party. We have the whole like 717 crew invited. Everyone comes over in costumes. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna vlog it this year, a little bit of it, so you guys get to see what the Halloween party is like at the RF Racing headquarters. It's so much fun. Gotta get the exhaust fixed. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna get this truck fixed up in 100%. Oh my lord, dude. There are some scratches on this thing from that journey. Uh, I'm pretty sure these will all buff out. These are, like, I can't feel them with my fingernails, so that's a good sign. But damn, I don't even remember hitting a lot of these. Either way, the Colorado ZR2 giveaway is going on. If you guys want to support that, that helps me out so much. So thank you to everyone who's already supported that. Like I said earlier in the video, if you want to buy any of my products, that helps me out as well. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. You guys get a bunch of updates before it hits YouTube. Likes are always appreciated. I mean it. If you guys are still watching the video, I know I see your guys' comments down below who watched the entire video, uh, but likes help out too. So if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, that would mean a lot. And if you made it this far in the video, Say rock in the comments because not only we're we on a rock trail today, but Chevy like a rock. I'll see you guys next time.